Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to another video about life in Italy, studying in Italy. Um, in this video I'm going to be talking to you about the things that you should be bringing to Italy as a student uh, if you're coming for the first time. Gloria, thank you again so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe, hit the red subscribe button down below so that you are notified every time I post a video. Don't forget to hit that notification bell as well. Let's dive right into the list. Now this list has got 11 things that I believe are essential especially for students if you're coming um, to study in Italy. Number one, your original transcripts and all your documents. Now, these usually are sent, but usually it scans. And when you get here, the university or the school that you're going to attend will require to see your original transcripts, your original diploma, your original degree, your original certificate. So make sure you bring everything original as you know requested um, and the translations. Because when you get here, they will be verified and they will be required either by the university or by the police. Number two is money. Now, the currency in Italy is euros, just like most of the other European countries. Um, please exchange your money into euros, do not bring dollars. Uh, the exchange rate here when you're exchanging from dollars to euros is crazy. So please convert your money to euros and make sure you bring it in euros. And you know, to make it more comfortable or convenient, make sure you get a bank card and instead of moving around with money, you bring your bank card because when you go to the ATM to withdraw, it will release money in euros and that will make your life easy. Number three is bring something, um, your favorite things about your family. For example, uh, their photos, you could bring anything that reminds you of your family because when you get here, it gets a bit lonely and you get to miss them a lot, especially in the first months. So make sure you bring at least their photos that you can look at to, you, you can look at and you know, just hold dearly so you can feel like they are close to you. I brought my mom's scarf because it smells like her perfume and um, every time that I missed her, I used to smell it and that would soothe or comfort me. Um, you could bring something similar or anything that reminds you of your family, you could bring their whatever, but mainly the photos. So every time that I miss my family, I look at the beautiful memories created in photos. Number four is something major and it is bring some food. Um, if you can dry food, if you can smoke it, or even if you can bring it nicely packed, fresh, um, and you, get, you can get here, you know, within 12 hours, it will still be good. And you just shove it into the fridge as soon as you arrive. Because when you get here, it might not be very easy to just adjust, adjust or adopt um, to Italian food. So please bring some food so that, I mean, you can mix it as you get used to Italian food, especially if it is your first time eating it. The taste is a bit plain. So if you are African, it might be a little bit strange because we're used to strong spices and you know strong tastes in food and also a bit of spicy. You know what I'm talking about? So um, the food in Italy is a bit plain, so you might find it either boring um, or you might find it unsatisfying, if you know what I mean. So um, bring some food so that you can be able to, you know, mix as a uh, mix, you know, let's say African food or the food from your country, wherever you're coming from, Asian food uh, with Italian food as you transition to getting used to Italian food because eventually you will need to start eating it. Next is spices. Bring some spices because sometimes food tastes better when it has a familiar spice. Now, you're going to find that there are shops here that sell African food, Latin American food, Asian food, or American food. However, the prices are exaggeratedly high. I have a vlog coming up on this, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it and tune in so you don't miss it. Uh, it's very interesting. I'll be taking you to a shop where you can buy uh, international stuff, African food, African hair products, and all of those, and uh, Asian, Latin American, and all of that. It's an international market, 
it so it is one to look out for but yes um spices pack some spices most of them are easy to pack and light so i usually bring spices for the whole year i bring tea masala that i really like i bring royco um i bring dado which is like the, the little cubes um, those can take me up to a year, even Uganda tea leaves, I really like to bring those. So bring stuff uh, that is light, that can, you know, add in a little bit of flavor, that can make it feel like home. Even though you're preparing Italian dishes, the little spices will make them feel like home. Next on my list is heavy clothing. Um, by the time you arrive, it's going to be autumn, so September, October, so make sure you bring some heavy clothing. Uh, for some people that come from warmer countries, that might be already cold for you. So buy heavy clothing from Africa. It is way cheaper there. People don't wear it because people don't need it. It doesn't cost that much compared to when you arrive in Italy or in Europe in general. So buy it. People are just using them for music videos. People are using boots in Uganda, music artists. Um, wear coats and boots just for music videos and that's it because we don't need them um, and they cost way less so if you're coming buy them from there so that you don't have to spend your money as a student uh, you know on jackets when you arrive next is something very dear to me bring something unique from your country something that you can show off to your friends with um, let's say the Ugandan flag your country's flag, you can bring your traditional outfit. Um, I remember it, at university, we used to have an international day where everybody would wear their traditional outfit and I was very happy to wear the Uganda Basuti and wear, you know, a Kitenji or Ankara, any African print. Um, bring something that will make you, you know, that will make you alive again. It's just one day or just an occasion, but that occasion is going to excite you a lot as an international student because you will be showing off your country, you will be representing, you will be like an ambassador for a moment for your country. Next is hair products. Oh my goodness me, I can't emphasize how much I should stress this, but it's not very common to find Afro hairdressers, Afro hair products in Milan, Italy or in Italy in general. So bring hair extensions, bring hair shampoo, hair oil, all the hair products. If you need to bring rollers, bring them. If you need to bring as many wigs as possible, bring them. Needles to sew on your wigs or anything, bring them. Hair gel, bring them. Yes, there are shops that might sell them, but they don't sell a variety. There are hairdressers, but they don't sell a variety. And they're not so many. Even when they do a job, it's not as excellent as it is in Africa. If you want to get a very good job done, it's usually expensive. So if you can also learn in these few days how to braid your hair, that is going to be a plus. So yes, hair products and buy as many extensions as possible because I think a hair extension to, you know, plate braids is about six euros. So convert that to your currency and see how much you'll be saving if you brought those from home. Next is something very important and that is an electric adapter. Now, in Europe or in Italy in general, um, the adapters are a bit different from the other parts of the world, especially Africa and Asia. So make sure that you bring an adapter so that you're able to use your electronics in Italy. Otherwise, you won't be able to charge them, not even your phone. So buy an adapter that can, I'm going to put a photo here so that you can see what the socket looks like. That can fit there so that you can save that money. Otherwise, you can buy them here when you arrive. Next is medical records and medical supplies. Now, if you've got an illness or a health condition that is usually treated or where you have to take medicine consistently, it is very advisable to carry at least a month or two months worth of medicine. Um, reason being, in Italy, you don't just walk into a pharmacy and just buy medicine. You have to have a prescription list, which you don't get a prescription at sheet what do we call it like a document um, from a doctor and uh, as a student once you arrive you don't get a doctor immediately you go to the university doctor so the whole bureaucracy and process behind that might affect you in case you want to you know continue taking your medicine and if your life really relies on those so bring your medicine and bring your medical records so that when you get here and you go to the hospital they don't do all the tests again they could just based on that to give you a prescription or to give you a treatment in case you need it 
Last but not least is something very personal. Uh, please bring a starter pack. Now, what is a starter pack? A starter pack is something that has outside toilet bag, but like a bit with more personal things like your favorite, your toothpaste that you're used to using. Because when you get here, you will, you might find a similar brand. However, that very exact one does not exist. So, I mean, if you're used to, let's say, uh, brushing your teeth with Colgate in Uganda or in Nigeria, bring that so that you can, you know, have a bit of continuation and transition as you get used to new products or as you start to look for products. Um, when I got here, it was a bit difficult to find the brands that I was used to and everything just tasted different um, when I'm talking about toothpaste. Um, all the other products reacted differently to my skin. The initial reaction was a bit strained. So as you get used to the weather, as you get used to the new place, bring your toilet bag full of your skincare routine, um, I would say toiletries, and everything that you need, your favorite deodorant, because the deodorants you're going to find here might react a bit differently uh, in the first few months. So as you get used to that, you have got your starter pack and you have got your toilet bag ready. That's my list. If you think anything else should be added to the list, please leave them in the comments below. If this video was very helpful, comment down below. Let me know what you're going to add to your list. Uh, if you have any other video requests, let me know again in the comments. Let's chat. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like this video and share it with somebody that is going to benefit. If you are moving to Italy to study, comment down below in what city and in what university. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!